Erica, we're hearing from the Chicago Public Schools that they are not going to have the uh, grab and go lunch program tomorrow. That's for students. No grab and go lunches announced tonight by the Chicago Public Schools. Let's go to CBS 2's Jeremy Ross. He is live in River North where it is considerably quiet tonight compared to last night. Jeremy. And Jim, and it's an eerie sort of quiet and uh, certainly uh, police officers out here, or residents here are hoping that that remains the case. Uh, in the area behind us, the 7-Eleven, the businesses nearby, the public house restaurant here, uh, one thing they have all in common, all boarded up. Uh, victims of vandalization, uh, possibly also looting. Uh, I want to take you to the uh, intersection behind us here, and you can see dozens of police officers, many of them wearing riot gear, riot helmets. On that corner, on the corner uh, just to the left, you'll see even more of them. Uh, the building behind us, of course, the old IBM building, uh, there are even more officers stationed and standing by. A staging area here, we can tell you that Earlier this evening, uh, there were several other officers on mounted patrol. Uh, those uh, officers on horses uh, since uh, took off that way. It's unclear exactly what they're doing. Uh, it is very possible that they could be uh, meeting protesters, uh, meeting crowds, possibly headed in this direction. And the reason that those crowds may be headed here, we're not too far away from, of course, Trump Tower, which could be a target of opportunity for vandals. But what I can tell you here, there is an eerie quiet. The officers here standing by, uh, some of them a little bit more relaxed right now than they were earlier in the evening. Of course, officers here, uh, people who live nearby, hope that that remains the case uh, in certainly the minutes and hours ahead this evening. We are live River North. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Jeremy Ross, thank you. We want to tell you some of you may not know that the CTA suspended bus and rail service at 6.30 tonight. Service will resume in the morning and Metro service will be suspended throughout the day tomorrow. Yes, and they also pace buses that provides that specific need as well. Those are not functioning. Those have been suspended as well. 